Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the all new for 2024, the Worth Bedlam. This is the creature replacement. This is the ASA version. Uh, it is the Phil Matt Signature Edition. It comes with a half ounce end load. They have new inner barrel technology to help push those 52 core balls out further. They also have a brand new outer shell composite. So this is supposed to be so much better than the creature. I've heard great things about it. I'm really excited to swing it. They also have a new flex handle on there. So it's it's not too flexy, but it's also not too stiff. Uh, this comes with a 13 and a half inch barrel, which is pretty big compared to the other bats around nowadays. So hopefully the sweet spot is forgiving. I really do think that this is going to be a great bat for me, a great bat for Ashley. Uh, just your average rec person, I think is what it, they're trying to appeal to the masses. Uh, granted, it is a very hot day today, so the balls are mush. So there's your disclaimer. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing unwrapped. Get some hits on it. All right, shout out to you, Josh, with no wrappers. And do a little licking and sticking. Oh, there's a warranty. There you go. All right, let's take a look at the bat. I really like the Grim Reaper on there. Worth a nice highlighter yellow color. I like the colors. The colors are very bright. That's right. You so excited to swing it? I am. I liked the creature, so I'm excited to see what the Bedlam has. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit better because, again, like he said, average strokes for average folks. That's right. That's what we are. Just rec players out here to show you what we got. All right. Well, let's see what we can do with this Bedlam. All right. We're here. It's a very hot day. About 85 degrees, mix of BP 52s by Evil and some Dudley Thunders. 70 miles per hour. Sixty-two miles per hour. Wow, that was a miss hit, but it felt actually really good. It was still a good hit. Yeah, it was. 76 miles per hour. Okay. Yeah, uh, this feels great. Just first impression. 78 miles per hour. I mean, the balls are already mush because they've been in my garage all day, but it's jumping. 64 miles per hour. Wow, that's really good. That was. 59 miles per hour. Sixty-one miles per hour. Good hit. That one felt good. I felt that on the sweet spot. Sixty-two miles per hour. Sixty-one miles per hour. Seventy-eight miles per hour. Wake up. Seventy-eight miles per hour. Seventy-six miles per hour. Sixty-three miles per hour. Seventy three miles per hour. Sixty eight miles per hour. Seventy four miles per hour. Seventy three miles per hour. Seventy-seven miles per hour. All right, that one was well over three hundred feet for sure. It was hit well. Seventy-seven miles per hour. Oh, 
75 miles per hour. Eighty miles per hour. There's an eighty right out of the wrapper for this heat, and it being fresh out of the wrapper, that's really good for me. Fifty-three miles per hour. Fifty-six miles per hour. Is that a fifty-six or sixty-six? Fifty-six. Good hit. That'll depend. 65 miles per hour. That was 65. Yeah, that was a good and hit. And a nice hard line drive. 57 miles per hour. Ooh. That was 67, I think. 60 miles per hour. 59 miles per hour. Sixty-two Ooh. miles per hour. These are not the right shoes to Still wear. Look good, Still look good though. Very not good. The hit. Right? Shoes to wear. Yeah. yeah. Fifty-nine miles per hour. Whoa, that was a miss hit too. Yeah. And I hit the sweet spot. I felt that. Forty-nine miles per hour. All right, so final thoughts on the Bedlam. What did you think? I thought it felt great. I've swung the Creature before. Uh, to me, this is a huge upgrade over the Creature. I think that new inner barrel uh, really does help push that ball for those who have a slower swing speed. The 13 and a half inch barrel, to me, it felt great. Like I could tell the feedback when I didn't hit the sweet spot. It didn't really wring my hands that bad. And when I felt the sweet spot, you know, you just saw the ball fly. It went really far. As far as the, the, the strength of the feedback, I just feel like it was pretty light. I didn't mention before, but this was actually a 25 ounce uh, bedlam. It comes in 25, 26, 27, I believe. But overall for an average person, you know, the average folks, the average strokes, I think this is a very good bat that will appeal to the masses if Anybody can pick this bat up and do well with it. it is my best suggestion. I would recommend picking it up. And this is definitely going to be in my top five ASA bats for 2024. And I like the look. What do you think of it? I'm going to have to agree with that. Uh, it is aesthetically pleasing. But aside from that, I really do like the weight. I love the feel. I really like the 13 and a half inch barrel. It is very forgiving. It did not wring my hands very much when I did miss hits. Um, I could definitely tell that it is a larger sweet spot, so I do like that since I'm still a little more inconsistent than what I would personally like to be working on that. But um, in the meantime, it is very forgiving, and for right out of the wrapper, I am really impressed. Definitely like this better than the creature, and I would have to say this is really up there with my top five favorite ASA bats as well. Well, there you have it. That's the Worth Bedlam, all new for 2024. Shout out to Keith Tuna Peters with Smash It Sports. Join the family Field of Dreams softball for Facebook in the description below. SmashItSports.com, link in the description. Till next time, A&A out.